verse 15. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. I know your works, whose works? The church of the Laodiceans, the apostate people, the people, the church that is living in denial of her beloved Jesus. It says to the church of the end of times, 21st century, our time. He's talking to us now, the Lord. That's scary, isn't it? Yeah. I can tell you, Jesus can be very scary, my darling. Yeah, he's not a joke. Don't take him as a joke ever. He's saying, I know all your works because I'm God. Nothing is hidden from me. You may be seen as a pope, as a patriarch, as an archbishop, as a bishop, as a leader of the church before the world, but for me, I know all your works. You are neither hot nor cold. Your deeds are neither hot nor cold. I wish if you were either hot or cold. Why? Hot means if you were really close to me. If you really loved, if you really loved me fervently. I wish. And also I wished if you could not have been hot, at least I wished if you were able to be cold. But since you are neither hot or cold, cold means distant from God. Hot, close to the Lord, cold, distant from the Lord. He said, you are neither close nor distant. You are, you've chosen for yourself to be a lukewarm. A lukewarm meaning neither hot nor cold. You mix the hot with the cold, became halfway lukewarm. Lukewarm means you have a dead conscience. <laughs> you have a dead conscience. Hot, your conscience is on fire for the Lord. Cold, your conscience is frozen for the Lord. But lukewarm, your conscience is dead. When Cain was able to kill his brother Abel, <laughs> when Cain was able to kill his brother Abel, the only way he was able to kill Abel because he killed his conscience. When any, when any human being are able to kill their conscience, they will do everything evil under the sun. Everything evil. And they will not even blink twice about it. But the problem, the Lord is talking to the church, not to the corrupt governments. He's talking to the church, not to the Freemason. He's talking to the church, not to Bill Gates. Not to the Rothschild. He's talking to the church for God's sake. The only place where the conscience should be alive is the church. Now he's saying we've got a problem. In the end of times, the 21st century, the conscience of my church is a lukewarm, dead.